e dimmi ti ha mai stretto a lui così e la sua voce sussurrata sulla pelle in June 2023 a new sentimental film made its debut in the Amazon Prime Video catalog we're talking about it's my fault which exactly like after is based on a story originally born on Wattpad and then landed in bookstores What immediately struck viewers was not only the story, which intertwines the events of a forbidden love with a small thriller twist, but the chemistry between the two protagonists. Leading the cast in the role of Nick and Noah, who from finding themselves half-brothers without enduring each other end up falling in love, are Nicole Wallace and Gabriel Guevara. Also following them on social networks and seeing interviews and their appearances together, a question arose spontaneously among the fans, the two protagonists of E. Colpamia? They are together? To consolidate the doubt in the fans, who ship them regardless, were some shots shared by those directly concerned on Instagram. In reality, it seems that these shots are part of a photo shoot created to promote It's My Fault. Despite all this, however, it seems that the two are not together. As El Independiente reports, in fact, Nick's interpreter reportedly recently declared that he was single. Within the film we therefore find several scenes forbidden to minors between the two actors. But what was it like filming these moments? Nicole Wallace recounted it during a recent interview with Esquire Spain. She, the actress, revealed that she did not encounter particular difficulties in shooting the scenes in question. I thought it would be something that would have worried me more, but then in the situation and with the intimacy coordinator everything went well, she said, who however underlined, it is true that in the end I am still directed by a man, even the 70% of the cast is male, and there are things that still need to be changed, because I've been through some uncomfortable situations. But I think it also happened to Gabriel, Guevara, my partner. It's inevitable to have two teenagers on their first job. But they made me feel very good during the shoot, I've known Gabriel for four years and I focused a lot on trying to make him as realistic as possible, because it's a fiction and it has its unreal side, Wallace explained. We don't know if this is what happened between Nicole Wallace and Gabriel Guevara. On the other hand, the two actors have always played a lot on the question and have remained somewhat ambiguous. But there is one new detail that goes. To add to this story that is thrilling thousands of fans around the world. Nicole recently gave an interview to Esquire, a chat that we will analyze in another article, because she gave some interesting statements. Now we want to focus instead on the shooting that accompanied the meeting and that you can find out by clicking on the link we gave you just now. In one of the shots it can be clearly seen that Wallace has a G tattooed inside a heart on her hand. This was enough for the couple's many shippers to dream again. However, there are many fans who hope that Guevara and Wallace can also become a couple in real life. For several days now, the web has been flooded with posts and tweets from followers of the film who notice the most irrelevant details and fantasize with theories and conjectures. But what is the relationship between them? Gabriel Guevara clarified it once and for all during an interview with the Vani. Portal, also talking about what it is like to work with Nicole. Working with Nicole is very special to me because she is like my sister and makes work easier and more comfortable. She is a really good girl and I would love to continue working with her in the future, said the actor. Guevara therefore speaks of Wallace as a friend, indeed a sister. It's my fault everyone is talking about it, and the leading actor Gabriel Guevara revealed that he was inspired by two now iconic stories to give life to his character, Nick. In fact, the star cited Twilight and Euphoria among his personal sources. GQ asked Gabriel Guevara about how he worked on a character as complicated as Nick, having to play the part of the bad boy, but not too much. Here's what the actor revealed, also citing some movies and TV series that he used as a point of reference and inspiration. Nick is an archetype. The writers wanted it to be less toxic than the books, and that was a good thing for me. Because I'm not like that. I was inspired by some friends, but also by films like Twilight, with the typical protagonists of Wattpad stories. Also to series like Euphoria, and to the character of Nate Jacobs. Above all, I talked about it with friends, also obtaining different points of view. Currently, the Twilight franchise is ready to return with a new reboot series, of which we still don't know anything. Instead Euphoria 3 is stalled due to the writer's strike, and could arrive no earlier than 2025 on HBO and Sky.
of the Cool Pablis trilogy, which with the Prime Video adaptation have gained even more popularity. Her first novel, It's My Fault, was released in June 2017, after meeting an incredible success on Wattpad, exactly like Anna Todd did with After. In the same year, a few months later, it was the turn of the sequel Culpa Tuya, while in 2018 Mercedes Ron released the last chapter of the trilogy, Culpa Nuestra. Once the story was completed, she decided to knock on the doors of publishing houses, looking for someone willing to publish it. None, however, proved to be interested and so the writer turned to Wattpad which immediately rewarded her work, eventually attracting the attention of those who had initially rejected her. It's My Fault is on everyone's lips, and lead actor Gabriel Guevara revealed that he was inspired by two now iconic stories to bring his character, Nick, to life. Anticipations to come Are you ready to see it? The video trailer is in Italian with subtitles in all languages. Remember to press the CC button at the top of the video and choose the subtitle language as well. Go! Good vision! E dimmi, ti ha mai stretto a lui così? E la sua voce sussurrata sulla pelle ti ha mai fatto questo effetto? Smettila di mentire, sei più infantile di allora. Che tanto lo so che sei morta dentro quando sei salita su quel treno, perché l'ho sentito anche io il tuo stesso vuoto, ed è stato più letale di quello in cui stavo sprofondando. Non sono stato bravo a controllare le emozioni. Mi hanno devastato. Here we are. Of course we saw a short preview. You can see them whole in the YouTube channel of the voice actress and creator Julia Segrady. She is a voice actress and actress. With her voice it brings strong emotions. She is Italian. In her videos you can also activate all the subtitles. Just go to the YouTube video options and then choose the language. We talked to Julia. She uses her own voice in an innovative and particular way. <laughs> and she is popular on the web. She opens her self-titled YouTube channel and starts uploading audio readings of modern books in collaboration with male voice Baron Mark Keel. She also does commissioned audio readings from many female writers. Julia and Barone are also a couple in real life. They met on the web. Senza di lui la maggior parte del lavoro non era possibile. Beh, ci siamo conosciuti attraverso la grande passione per il doppiaggio e per le letture. Julia was looking for a male voice for her projects and then she learned that she was a neighbor. You have dubbed some important films and participated in various famous Italian TV programs. Julia is also a Spotify artist. She realizes with her voice covers of her recited. She's a writer. She has acted in the theater in various shows and fairs. For some years she was also the speaker on the radio and currently she is the voice of important radio commercials. Her voice is also on Audible. In fact, she also makes audiobooks. In short, she does many things in one day. She likes to tease with her voice and has managed to work with her voice. She loves animals, she loves being with her boyfriend. It's hard to sum up her life. I suggest you visit her YouTube channel. There you can hear and see her work. While her private life and her other passions can be seen on Instagram. Io, insieme a voi, ho una lunga strada da percorrere. E mentre percorriamo insieme questa strada, altre persone si uniranno 